Hello friends, welcome to this YouTube channel. So today we will know about the Finland scholarship, right? What is this Finland scholarship provided by the different universities in Finland? And from this scholarship, you can study masters without paying any tuition fee, and even you will get some money. And even you will get some money as a stipend, or I can say the relocation amount. What do you know about the Finland scholarship? Do you know something about the Finland scholarship? The Finland scholarship is the funding which is provided by the different universities of Finland. Being a non-EU and EA student to study in Finland, it is very very expensive. You know, like the for the fee, uh, what is the must? What is the fee for the master's program? So minimum fee to study the master's program is ten to twelve thousand up to thirty thousand euro per year. So it is very expensive, right? So that is why the Finland scholarship is right. So this Finland scholarship assists international students from outside EU and EEA and provides the funding to education for the master's education in Finland, right? So if you get this funding or if you get this Finland scholarship, then you can easily. So this is the best support for you to make the most of your studies and nurture your talents, right? So. This scholarship are intended for talented non-EU and EA students who are required to pay tuition and wish to pursue international master's program at Finnish universities. Okay, so now the question is in your mind: How many Finnish universities can provide the Finland scholarship? Right? Okay, so there are thirteen universities that provide Finland scholarship, and Aalto University. University of Helsinki, University of Eastern Finland, University of Uvalskilla, University of Lapland, Aalto University, University of Oulu, Hankin School of Economics, University of Arts Helsinki, Tampere University, University of Turku, University of Vasa, and Abo Academy University. So these are the thirteen universities which participates in this scholarship program. Okay. So, what is this scholarship about? What it contains? So, this scholarship covers the entire tuition fee as well as five thousand euro relocation grant. So, if you complete at least fifty-five credits during your first year of study, your scholarship will be renewed for the second year. It means, like, if you study, if you don't just uh, spend your time only uh, playing or going out or uh, just going pubs and all. So, if you do not waste your time and focus on your study, definitely the scholarship will be continued for the second year, right? And the five thousand euro is paid to your Finnish bank account once you arrived in Finland, right? And you are registered as a student to the university where you took admission. Okay. So there are different master's program you can apply for this scholarship, uh, like uh, because in the different university there are thirteen universities, right? I will provide the link as well. So there are thirteen universities, and you can choose the program of your choice, right? So it covers like right from the engineering, medical, humanities, business, like almost all programs. Because these thirteen universities are the well-renowned universities in Finland. And please keep in mind that there is only one intake each academic year. So the next application period for studies beginning in autumn two thousand twenty-three is from December one, two thousand twenty-two. To January twenty twenty three, so generally you will have only the one month of the time to fill the application, uh, mostly in December, right? Each like program or each universities have different deadline, but please remember, overall it will be in December, right? So you have to prepare yourself right now. This is the right time to prepare yourself for Finland scholarship because December is the time where you have to fill up your application. Okay, so what are the requirements, right? So first, as this scholarship is intended for the master's program, you should be eligible for the master's program, and you have to pay the tuition fee. Means tuition fee applies. Means you have you don't need to pay the tuition fee. Means like you are the student, you should be the students like non-EU, not from Europe, not from European Economic Area, not from EEA. So you should be eligible. To pay the tuition fee, you should not be eligible. Like uh, you should not be, you should not belong from the tuition fee waiver, right? So you understand. So you don't need to pay because you will get the scholarship, but you should belong to that criteria, right? That group. 
Okay, so you should not have the permanent residence status in EU or EEA area, right? All, okay, so this is only for the international students. And you meet the requirements for obtaining a Finnish entry visa and residence permit. This is the later things, right? Because you have to apply for the visa or then you get the admission and get the scholarship. That is the different process, right? So I will also create I like... Uh, this type of videos in my different channels how to get the residence permit how to get the visa these type of videos i already i used to create in my different channel that is the desi teacher in europe okay well so you have achieved excellent results in previous studies so you can show like in the demonstration like in your application you have to write a cover letter or you have to write a motivational letter when you fill up the application you have to write you have to explain right that uh, you have achieved a good grades or you have some different trainings or you have some internship, whatever you have, because you need this scholarship. So you need to sell yourself, right? So I already showed you in the previous videos how to prepare the documents. And if you need my help, I can help you as well. So although I will provide the links to each 13 universities, so you can check your like criteria as well. But most of the time, the criteria will be updated, right, in the December. So you can check again. But mostly, what will be the criteria? What is the criteria basically for the master's? Because generally, because this scholarship applications and master's application, you have to fill up at the same time, right? Because you don't need to fill up the scholarship application separately. You need to choose your master's program. You have to fill up the application. And, and during that time, you can choose the scholarship which scholarship you want, fill in the scholarship so at the same time, right? So criteria to admission in the master's, like this is the minimum qualification you should, like you should have the bachelor's degree at least, right? And you have the sufficient skills in Finnish, Swedish or English, right? Because if you are an international student, definitely you must have the like language skills in uh, like uh, English, right? And you have completed or will complete like uh, applicable studies required for the master's program. So you have completed or you will complete by the January because January first week is the deadline, right? Most of the time. And copy of your passport you must have, right? And please remember, like about the language requirement, I will create a separate video, right? So what will be the language requirement? But I will provide the link like to each university so you can also check like what is the requirement. So how to apply? As I already told you, like all non-EU EA applicants, or I can say the international students or international applicants who are required to pay the tuition fee, who are required, they will not pay because they will get the scholarship, but are required, can apply for the Finland scholarship at the same time as they apply for the master's program using the same application form, as I told you, right? So when you fill up the application form for the master's program to get the admission at master's program, uh, at any university out of these 13 universities, at the same time, you will fill up the scholarship application in the same application right and after the after this application period ended right for the master's program you cannot apply for the scholarship so a scholarship decision right so a scholarship decision is made concurrently with the admission decision so when the, your admission decision will be finalized to take the like for the master's program at the same time the decision of the scholarship you will be granted or not will be decided okay and the scholar a scholarship decision cannot be appealed under the universities act so most of the university like out of these 13 universities i think all of them they have the rule that you cannot appeal for the decision okay so finally you are thinking like where to get the more admission uh, sorry where to get the more knowledge about it please remember Right. So these all like the links to each university about this scholarship, Finland scholarship, I have already provided here. You can see. Right. But also I will provide like these all links because you cannot see properly here. So I will provide all these links at the description box and in my LinkedIn channel and also in my Facebook group. You can see. Right. OK. So, for example, if I click on the first link, so it is here about the Alto University and you can see the applying to master's program. So the deadline is already passed for the last year because it's already going on. So, so this is all about the previous time. So this all information is written like for the, uh, for this all information is written. So the deadline is already passed, but now I'm saying about like, so you can see like for last year it was in December, 2021. So this time again, it will come in 2022 in December, the application will open for the master's program. This is not only for Alto University, for any link, if you will open. So most of the time, the deadlines like, you know, you have to fill up the application in December itself, right? So, for example, if I uh, click on 
like uh, the application okay and please also remember how to, like you have to fill up the application not on the university website all those like uh, application you have to fill up at studyinfo.fi and if you click here so please remember you see like application period currently not ongoing so when it will come like in december right so then it will be here it will be available but please remember that you know study info this is like the name and also the name is like you see you can see here right opintopolku.fi right so this is right open opintopolku.fi right so so this is the new version of the like uh, page but uh, previously it was different so but uh, i mean to say that all those application will be filled up in the studyinfo.fi that i meant to say right if you go through any like uh, web page or any like university click on the masters program like for example uh, click on the link how to apply and it will take you to the studyinfo.fi but please remember during the december during the december you have to fill up the application so you have to prepare yourself now what are the requirements how can you upgrade yourself how to prepare the documents right you can go through my previous videos as well and if you have some doubts you can contact me as well okay so thank you very much and this is all from the desi teacher and videsh i hope you like this video and in the coming videos i will have the more information about the bachelor's scholarship phd scholarship and the postdoc scholarship in finland and other countries in europe also the various jobs for the international applicants in europe so thank you very much for connecting desi teacher and videsh have a good day